this one in time. This should be electric. Eastern Conference hostilities renewed, and we got you covered here on EA Sports. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Islanders start with possession as we are now underway. New York's got it along the wall. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Stamkos has it in their own end. And he serves it across to Hedman. Grabs it in his own end. New York's got the puck. Moves the puck into the attacking area. The Islanders have it from their own end. Oh boy, here's trouble. Two on one. Brings it off the pipe. Are we going to get a goal, man? I mean, like, it hits the crossbar and still won't go into the net. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. An easy save by Ranta. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Barcel's usually scouted before any key matchup because he's a special player and a good point getter. Hedman's defensive game is his primary focus, guys, but don't be surprised if he jumps in on the attack. One of these players is going to help give their team the upper hand tonight. Guys, back to you. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. And he takes a shot. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Slides it up to Hagel. The Bolts are on the attack. Here he is from the slot. Turned aside with the glove by Ranta. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. New York's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Thunderous collision along the wall. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. The Islanders gain control of the puck. Move to the middle. Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove. Yeah, he got a little testy once the whistle blown. He's pushing him out of there. Neil's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes the feed at the point. Off a stick. Pinned up along the boards. Tampa Bay's got a hold of the puck now. Here's a shot, and that's blocked. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. The Islanders move it in. Here's a blast. They scores! And there's a moment he'll never forget. You start to get into some pretty good numbers once you clear 400 points. You want to use the player in front of the net as a screen if you can. This time, it's just about perfect. I don't think the goaltender ever picks it up. Tries to get it over to Rust. The Islanders take it across the line. Can't connect. You try to generate enough chances in a game that eventually you're going to punch through, but you got to get it on the net once you create the chance. Into the offensive end now. Perron's going to play it against the half wall. The Lightning have the puck against the boards. New York's got control of it now from their own end. They've got numbers. Shoots it. Denies him with the pad. And just like that comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. Here's a shot and makes the save. The Islanders take it across the blue line. Takes 
the shot. Comes up with the stop. Late goings of this period. It's all tied up. Glass wins the draw on their own end. The Bolts play it along the boards. Takes a shot, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Directs it on over to Pellet. Slides the puck to Rust. Let's it go. That's off a stick. Quick pass to Glass. Tampa Bay's got the puck against the half wall. Wrist shot from the slot. Blocked in traffic. New York's got it in the offensive zone. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Rust's a leader on his team because his play all over the ice is so strong. You don't get on this list very often if you don't have a game that works at both ends of the ice. Stamkos wins it in the dots. Through center along the wing. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Great defensive effort with the stick. Battling for it along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Islanders gain possession. And the puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. Feeds the puck to Stamkos. Takes the feet at the back end. Oh, that's a big time save. I think he got it with a toe. He's just so patient. He gets into around the defending area, and he's still working for a way to slither his way through to the front of the net. He does it as well as anybody. Hayek's got it in the defensive end. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Period number two is about to go. And we are underway, still tied up here in the second. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Bulls burnt the puck up constantly in that first period. Probably pretty lucky the game's tied. James, when you look forward to the rest of this game, they have to do a much better job when they have the puck to make sure they keep it. Across the line from center. Oh, what a stop as he gets a piece of it with his toe. The Lightning have the puck in their own end. Into the offensive zone. He got all of that hit. Moves it to the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Sergachev, such an aggressive player. You see him among the league leaders in hits. And what his style does is open up the ice for other players. It creates havoc on a forecheck, and you always need to know when he's around. Sends it over to Kane. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Take it along the wall by Kane. Moves it quickly over to Pellet. Handles the puck. To the low slot. There's the goal. Hey, goal. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. Once he sees the open player, he's going to zip that puck. His firm, crisp passes are easy to handle. His pass was right on target and helped set up that goal there. That's his tape-to-tape -tape superstar ability. And it was a pass that was not only accurate, but easy to handle. Lots of time left in this period. The Islanders are looking to build on this one-goal lead. Stamkos wins it. Quick feed to Kane. And they won't connect on that one. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. They've got the defense outnumbered. Slides it across. Can't get it to go. Drives to the paint. That's close, James. The goaltender ends up beating the shooter to the post. As if a, that looks like it's a goal, but it's shut down. The Bulls have it now. Moves it to Kane. Oh, relentless pressure, and they come up with the turnover. Blocked in traffic. Slides the puck across to Kuchel. 
Kucherov. Here's a short pass to Kane. Battle along the boards. Pellets taking it from his own end. Neal's carrying it ahead. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Neal's close to pulling off a great move there. Just denied in zone. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. That penalty didn't go over very well right here beside me, James, on the bench. They know they're in top now. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The Islanders lead at 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Monahan's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. He might have a step here. Denies him on the breakaway. Fires it. Oh, another consecutive stop. Tampa Bay's got the puck along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Monahan. Knocked away with the stick by Smith. The ball played along the wing. Great reach with the poke check by Pulak. Up along the wing. The Lightning have the puck in their own zone. With possession along the wall. Couldn't complete the pass. Gets it over to Rust. Picked off by Chernak. The Islanders have it against the wall. Glove save, and the puck moves on. Johansson's feeling that, and someone's going to the box. The Bolts will play it in their own end. Keeps hold of the puck. Glass takes it across the line. Here's the official call. I don't know that there's any time for an undisciplined penalty that could be a good one, but the one-goal lead is definitely not it. trail by one. Well, not much they're going to be able to do about that. The power play failed. Now they go back to even strength. The Bolts are in transition. Quick pass to Taves. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. New York's got possession of the puck. The Islanders in transition at center. Moves it quickly over to Neal. And that one's broken up. Receives the pass. And the intensity starting to ramp up here after that hit. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. And he scores! He put it in himself. He tried to make the save. I don't think he knew where it was. The Islanders leap ahead by one in the late stages of this second period. Well, you can be happy that you have the lead, but you still have to remain focused here for the last little bit of this middle frame. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Barzell swooping in on the attack. Quick feed to Neal. Makes the save as he gets a piece of it with the glove. The Islanders working around near the back end. Let's it rip! Oh, what a glove save! Neil shot is among the league's best, and as a result, he's in the top 10 in goals this season. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Moves it to Rust. You'll need more than that to beat him. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. The officials are set. The players are set. Ray Ferraro between the benches is set. I'm James Cebulski. Let's go. Bar extra time. The final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? The Bolts continue to be close in this game, which is maybe a little bit of a miracle. They don't have very much in the way of shots on.
still plenty of time left in this frame. New York's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Tampa Bay's won the faceoff. Here's a short pass to Sergeyev. It sends people ducking for cover with that high one. Yeah, and you're, you know, when you're the forward, James, you're fighting for your spot, and then this thing gets airmailed in over top of your sh scores. Matthew Barzell. Ah, this is a stick handling clinic here. Looks like he's out of room about three times, and he pulls another dangle out of the bag. And then he finishes it off for good measure. What a great play. The goal was great, but it was his stick handling that got him there, guys. That's his puck on a string superstar ability. And he dipsy doodled his way to the net and put away that puck. What a show. Shot. Oh, it stops him again. Slides it over with pace to Rust. Cutting to the slot. Taken by Kucherov. Great pass from the left wing. Great read with the stick. Stamkos explores his options in the corner. Jabs the puck away. Takes a shot. Makes the save. Pelix lugging the puck. Here he is in front. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. High quality chance, high quality save. The Bolts will play it from the defensive zone. Passes it over to Kucherov. Takes it to the front and gets a piece of it with the trapper. Rant is on top of that one for a whistle. Little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Islanders have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Picked up along the boards by Pellick. Puck scooped up by Ranta. Takes the feed. Rust's having an unbelievable week. What a hot streak, and when you get on one of these, you never want it to end. Three goals in the last game, another one tonight. Who knows what's in front of him? Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. Barzell's run to be among the top scorers in the league continues. It doesn't matter whether you try to shut him down. He finds a way to produce. New York's got it, and they're on the attack. Fires it on net, and he makes the easy save. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. The Bolts move the puck in the defensive zone. Right to the middle! Quick shot! That goes off the mask! I don't think goalies pick up the puck sometimes and it hits them in the mask. Other times I think they're feeling, hey, I'm in position here, I'm well protected, and they just stop it with their face. That's one of those cases. Gets in front of it. Ranta's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. And here at center, that's intercepted. Shot in front! Goalie with a stop. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. New York's got it in the defensive zone. Great reach with the stick by Stamkos. And he regains control of the puck. And he's able to handle that one. Quick pass to Neal. Puts it on net. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. New York's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. Carlin's got the answer as to who had the better night. Barzell's the player I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. Moves it quickly over to Neal. And now he angles it across to Rust. Along the half wall with the puck. 
Here he scores! Man, he got right on his inside edges there to push right around the post. He beats the goalie there and he tucks it away. This makes the coaches look smart every time. They depend on him for offense, and he delivers James time and time again. More than half the frame has been played here. New York's got a three-goal lead. Slides that one right across the blue line. And now it's grabbed by Stamkos. Grant is going to cover it up. And look at that after the whistle here. Clearly trying to goad him into something. Yeah, or hurt him. That's a pretty good slash. who had the upper hand. Well, they'll try and send a message as they're going to play again down the road, but this night has not gone very well for them. Does this work at all, these late messages? I, d I don't think so, because by the time you play them, so much has happened in between. Scooped up along the wall by Neil. He carries the puck up along the wing. Takes the feed. Hayek's got it into offensive territory. On the attack along the boards. Ranta's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Let's send it back down between the benches. Ray Ferraro gives us the answer to the Razor's edge. Neal's tonight's winner, James. He made a difference in this game, and it didn't take him long to get involved offensively. A really good night for him. That's gloved by Ranta. Dobson stick handling in his own zone. New York's across the blue line. Tampa Bay's got a hold of it along the wall. Gains the zone from the right side. Quick feed to Perron. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Nice zone entry on the left side. Neal's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. And that's snapped away by Hayek. Moves it to Neal. Move to the middle. Left save by the goalie. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Here in the back half of this period, the Islanders have been the better squad so far tonight. They lead it 5-2. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. The Islanders pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Wallstrom's got it along the wing. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Two goals already on the hunt for a third. On the wraparound! Here's a short pass to Sorelli. Steps into the offensive end. Denied by the puck stopper. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Barzell's ready for the draw on this man advantage. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Barzell. Slides the puck over. Here's a chance! Whoa. When the goaltender gets into the butterfly, he's just trying to take away his money. New York's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forechecked. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Hayek's got it against the boards. Back at the point, they set it up. Off target. So frustrating. You do all this work, you get it into a good spot, and you don't get it on the net. 
The setters will glide into the dot. New York's got possession here in their own end. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. The Islanders take it along the wall. Tampa Bay's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Nice pass. Here he is in close. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Raja. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Nice zone entry from the right side. To his teammate. And that fails to materialize. Wicked blast. Played big in the moment there. Well positioned save, and he has the rebound over in the corner. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And he comes up with the save. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And there it is. Neil's hat trick leads the way in this victory. Ray, your thoughts at ice level? Goal scorers are supposed to score. He had opportunities and he did not miss tonight.